in your heart and you'll get through hold a little wimple in your heart i'm telling you if the outlook is bleak and it's guidance you seek put on your wimple hat and you'll know what to do one morning dennis letterlever was busy sorting out his letters and parcels ready for delivery to the village well blow me stamp it's a letter for me oh, i've won a special prize from the big town post office four tickets to the zoo I know, I'll take Ethel Doneater and the twin bread snappers. They were all very excited about going to the zoo. Uh, I've packed a picnic lunch, Dennis, and now we're ready to go. They went to Wimpole's little station and were soon on their way to the big town. It wasn't long before they arrived and made their way to the zoo. Once inside, the first animal they saw was a lion. Oh, look, he's so cuddly, not fierce at all. But Ethel was in for a big surprise. <laughs> not quite so cuddly there, eh, Ethel? <laughs> Come on, let, let's go and find the sea lions. They soon found two little seals sitting by the water. Oh, look, twins. One of them is going to dive in. <coughs> oh, my goodness. When the twins had gobbled up their lunch, Dennis and Ethel had another cup of tea. Come on, Ethel. While the twins are rushing about, we can see small animals. They visited the big brown grizzly bear, then the elephant, who made rather a lot of noise, <coughs> then passed the lion again. Only this time, he wasn't quite so fierce. Here, look at the time, Ethel. I, I wonder where them boys have got to. The twins were wandering about in the big parrot house. I know. Let's give this big parrot some of our peanuts. Oh, no. He, he's opening the cage. Oh, crikey. He's escaped. What are we going to do? Uh, come quickly, Dennis. The big parrot's escaped. Dennis dashed after the twins, closely followed by a rather cross zookeeper. How did he get out? Uh, 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 where did he go? There he is. Quick, F follow me. Uh, catch him. Catch him. But no matter how hard they tried, they just couldn't catch the parrot. Oh, no. However are we going to catch him? But Ethel had a great idea. I've got just the thing for catching parrots. We can use my big apron like a net, and we'll soon have him back in his cage. What a smashing idea there, Ethel. Uh, quick, give it to me. He's flying this way. Come on. That's it, everyone. I've got him. The very pleased zookeeper took his parrot back to the cage, but the twins were getting a good telling off. Now, boys, you must never, ever do such a silly thing again, all right? We were very lucky to catch that parrot, you know. The twins certainly had learnt a big lesson. Later that day, they all arrived back at Wimpole Village. Thanks for a lovely treat, Dennis. And we promised not to do anything silly again. <laughs> That's all right, boys. But I bought you something just in case you forgot what happened today. Dennis had bought them a blow-up plastic parrot each. That night, the twins were so tired, they just dropped straight off to sleep. But I don't think they'll forget their trip to the zoo and the escaping parrot. Do you? Hold a little wimple in your heart And you'll get through Hold a little wimple in your heart I'm telling you If the outlook is bleak and it's guidance you seek put on your wimple hat and you'll know what to do hold a little wimple in your heart each day